ago, I did a, um, what is it, my heritage DNA test in order to find out that I'm 100% Balkan and a lot of you guys said, they don't even know what Balkan is, those tests suck, you should try another test and the most recommended test was 23andMe. So, guess what, even though they're not sponsoring this video, so just to make that clear, this arrived into the mailbox, so we're going to be doing this test today. So I'm gonna make it uh, quick and easy, well quick and easy, I'm just gonna show you guys what's in the box. First of all, we have a big high and it says uh, something about how you should do the test and blah 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 so we're just gonna do this and then um, I'm gonna show you guys the web app and the stuff that you have to do online in order to activate all of this and in order to get the right score so what's in the box a manual I don't know what the peep this is oh it's inside oh I, oh, oh oh there it is it's the vial and, and everything where your test goes so let's uh, let's head out to the website so in order to register our 23andMe kit, it says that we have to go to 23andMe. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 dot com slash start. Oh, it says already down there. So before we're taking this test, it says that you should not drink or eat for 30 minutes before eat, drink, chew gum, brush teeth or smoke for 30 minutes before giving your salvia sample and don't remove the plastic film funnel. Oh, don't remove the plastic film from the funnel lid. So then I'm just gonna fill in the rest, which uh, is not relevant for you guys. So after confirming your email address, uh, after filling it in and making your account, you will be forwarded to this website where you have to fill in a barcode that is located on your kit. So I'm gonna find that barcode and fill it in. It says your kit is for the Ancestry Plus trade service. You will not receive health related reports because I didn't order that because it was way too expensive, which I don't need. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Oh, kit has been registered. Well. Time to do some spitting. We're going to spit in this file until it's all up in here. Then we're gonna close the lid which has some kind of liquid which will then mesh with my spit. And then we're gonna turn on this cap on top of it and put the vial into this packaging and ship it back. That's um, what the manual says. So let's uh, let's spit up. After filling it up with spit and closing the lid, this liquid mixes with your spit. Uh, and now we're gonna just unscrew this top. There we go. And we're gonna put on the cap. The cap. There we go. And now we have a spit liquid filled file that we're gonna send back. Kind of nasty though, if you really, really think about it. So just like with my heritage, um, you just have to use the original box that your kit came in in order to send it back. And it has like a sticky strip that you put it in and as you can see whoa, 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 whoa. one one handed youtubing very hard uh, as you can see i packaged the vial close it up and we're going to ship this back to them and then await the results so um let's tune in, in a bit this is going to take a couple of weeks so um uh, because uh, the magic of film editing we're going to be back uh, right after we get the results which is like uh, two seconds but before we start this video, please consider subscribing because I know a lot of you guys who are watching are not subscribed. In order to motivate me and keep my channel growing, it's very important for you to subscribe to my channel. I hope you do. So I'm just gonna wait here before you subscribe so we can continue with the video, okay? Yeah? Uh, have you clicked it? Oh, you did? Oh, okay, let, let, let's continue then. And thanks to video editing, or skipped ahead three and a half weeks. Yeah, three and a half weeks. Is it? Yeah, it's three and a half weeks. Something like that. And I got my results in. So I have them in front of me. And we're going to, um, you know, check it out. You've seen me do the other DNA tests on this channel and I had a shocking result of 100% Balkan, but it wasn't specified any further. So you guys said you should send it to 23andMe and do another test since they have way more data to compare it to and they give you a more and more detailed um, version of your results. So I sent it in to 23andMe and now we're here three and a half weeks later. As you can see I'm 100% Dino so I am me that's very great to know which is like wow but then the, the juicy part comes in I'm 99.7% European so that's that's also something that, that matches with other DNA results. But then it says I'm 65.9% Southern European, which is also quite a good match since, you know, Southern Europe, the Balkans are in Southern Europe. And then we have Greek and Balkan, 62.9%. So let's check out the details. Ooh, 
Ooh, it shows you even the map and the... Uh, wow. Okay. Um, oh, this is awesome. This is already way better than the other website. 200 years, your ancestor may have lived in the following locations. Highly likely match. Bosnia and Herzegovina has four... Okay, so I am a highly likely match with Bosnia. That's great. Ooh, yeah, I do have family in Croatia as well. So it says a likely match with Croatia. And then it shows you a stronger evidence of re of recent ancestry is in the region of... I think this is Zadar. Yeah, Zadar County. Oh my god, you know what's funny? Love to go there on holidays since it's so nearby the Krajina region. As you can see, I'm, I'm about here. And this is all up there, so that's very nice. Lika Sen County. County. I don't know anyone who lives in this region, but apparently uh, I have some kind of match with that. Split Dalmatia. Oh, I, uh, you know, this kind of refers to the Illyrian thing, you know? Illyria was this part of, of Croatia and um, also a part of Bosnia and Herzegovina. So that the fact that I match, highly match or likely match, Bosnia and then Croatia, especially this area, shows that I'm like a true, true, let's say, first Illyrian people group on the Balkans. I, I guess that it, this is confirming it. I have some other counties as well, but yeah, um, like central Croatia. I like it. Okay. A possible match. Bulgaria. What the fuck? A possible match. So it's not... Like, really, really strong, like the other ones, likely match, highly likely match. No, it's, it's possible. From these two provinces, Plovdiv province and Stara Zagora. Okay. Impressive. No, I, I, I can... No, I don't think I have anyone that I know of who's alive who has any relationship to Bulgaria. But this is way back, so... Impressive. Ooh... <laughs> possible match Serbia Serbia I have a possible match and this is correct as well since I have Serbian family and relatives if people didn't know that and and I know a lot of, of you didn't know that since you comment a lot of dumb shit about me hating Serbians yada 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 while I have a quite a large part of family living in Serbia um, and who are uh, married to to native Serbians, to say so. The, what is this? The South Banat district, but the most, the best match is with Sumadia. Sumadia and Zlatibor district. Which is quite correct, since my family, well, my family who is living in Serbia, is in the surrounding area of Belgrade, so this is not like perfect match, but... I do have family in Serbia, so it, it matches, makes sense, and yeah, it also makes sense that I have some DNA from there. That's actually pretty cool. The other one said just 100% Balkan, didn't specify shit. This one is just very, very, very detailed. I love this so far. Oh my god. It's quite, this is so, it's just so weird, like, finding this stuff out about yourself, you know? I don't know how to put it into words, it just feels weird. And it also shows you or gives you some information about the countries and how it's possible that you get like matches from there. It's pretty awesome. So let's continue to the next thing, which is what? Italian 1.2%. Okay. Whoa, from the southern. Again, this really matches the stuff with... With Illyria, because Illyria, well, the Illyrian, what they think the Illyrian Empire was, was like Italy, this part of Croatia, and, and Bosnia, like this sec section here. So I am from, what is it? Apulia, near Napoli. And then a part near Slovenia. Friluli, Venezia, Giuliolia, Pabribapi, Pabribupi. And uh, from Sicily. Wow, Sicily, really? Some Italian blood in me. Weird. Quite weird, since I just don't have anything with, like, the Italian language or Italy in general, but 
really cool to find out that I'm at least 1.2% Italian. So now I can use the fingers like this. So yes, we were the bappy. 29.4% Eastern European. So not South, Southern European or South, Southeastern European, but Eastern European. Now comes the Russian DNA. Ivan, what is you in me? It doesn't specify it. 1.8% broadly Southern European. What the fuck does that mean? I'd say it's still a bit vague, but still more specific than the other tests that I did. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Alt 224 tested populations. No Albanian detected. So everyone who said you look like Albanian, Greek or Turkish. I have zero Turkish blood. I am probably one of the Illyrian people throughout the history, as you can see some Italian blood and you know the countries it just all matches. Zero Albanian, zero Greek, zero Moldovan, zero Montenegrin, zero Macedonian, zero Romanian. Here we go, Eastern European. Although we've detected Eastern European DNA in your ancestral breakdown, we not we have not identified more specific locations that your recent ancestors have called home. Ah, too bad. But I have how can I not detect it since I have 29.4% of it? So that means that probably somewhere from these countries, Belarus, Czech Republic, Estonia, Hungary, Latvia, Lithuania. So I am also part Slavic, which makes sense. Look at the entire history from the Balkans, you know, and the mix and the amount of different tribes and people coming to there, um, to that area. It just makes 100% sense that uh, somewhere along the line, someone mixed with something from the Slavs, something with the Illyrians, and uh, started with the Illyrians, then mixed with something from the Slavs, and has some remaining DNA from the Illyrians in Italian and a kind of way would say. Broadly European, 4.4%. Doesn't tell me shit, but okay. Yeah. Um, let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think? Is this uh, quite a good match with the first test that I did is it like completely different i think they're pretty close but maybe i i don't understand this data as well as some people some of you do I find it quite interesting that i have 1.2 percent italian in blood or dna and it showed me some more details because it showed the balkans in other tests 100 percent balkan score but it marked a very wide area and here it's way more specified so i think this this test is way more worth its price compared to the other tests that I did. Let me guys know in the comment section down below what kind of results you guys had because I'm very interested. And let me know if, if this matches a true Balkan slash Bosnian guy. I think it does. I think it really does. Compared, like if you look through the recent history of the Balkans and the bloodlines and everything, this is, you know, yeah. I'm, I st I'm still proud. I'm still proud of this Balkan status. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, it's your boy. It has been your boy. The Balkan boy, Dino. I thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I put a lot of effort in. So please consider subscribing. More videos coming up. The next video is going to be about all the war criminals from Bosnia and the Balkan War. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, leave a like down below. Of course, to give me some motivation to keep making these videos. So I thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next video. Ciao. Perfect.